800 or 2,800. On problem number 12, uh, it says 813 minus 189. I would just do it like this, and you're allowed to have scrap paper in there. So let's see, 13 minus 9 is 4. That knocked this down to a 0. I'm going to borrow one from here. 10 minus 8 is 2, and that now is a 7, and 7 minus 1 is 6. So 624 is the answer to 12. Uh, 13, well, if we take a look at... Uh, 13, it's just another adding a fraction type of problem, or subtracting this time, 5 twelfths um, minus 3 fifteenths. Well, one thing is this 3 fifteenths can be reduced, and that's the same as uh, 5 twelfths minus 3 fifteenths reduces down to 1 fifth. So now just get a common denominator, which is 60. And uh, 12 goes into 65 times. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 goes into 12, 12 times. Sorry, 5 goes into 60, 12 times. 12 times 1 is 12. Subtract, and you get 13 sixtieths. And that does not reduce. On 13, I see that was 13. 14, let's go ahead and do 14 here. It says 5.4 is equal to what fraction? Well, 5.4, well, the point 0.4 means 4 tenths. So this is 5 and 4 tenths. We can reduce that and say that's the same as 5 and 2 fifths. So that's a fine answer. If they want it as an improper fraction, 5 times 5 is 25 plus 2 more makes 27 fifths. So both of these are right. On uh, 15, 15 says Tom won some money in, a, in the lottery. If he spent one fifth of it, on a boat, so one fifth of it is spent on a boat, and one third of it on a car, one third of it on a car, what fraction of the lottery does he have left? So, in other words, we need to add up how much he spent, one fifth of it and one third of it, get a common denominator, which is 15. Five goes in there three times, three times one is three. Three goes in there five times, five times one is five. So that's eight fifteenths. He spent eight fifteenths of his money. He had all of it, 100% or one whole amount of his money. If you take one minus eight fifteenths, that will tell you how much money he has left. Well, one is the same as 15 fifteenths minus eight fifteenths gives me seven fifteenths. So that's what fraction of his money he has left, seven fifteenths. Um, uh, problem number 16 is what is the whole number closest to the square root of 27.9. Well, the whole number means, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Square root of 25 is 5 because 5 times 5 is uh, 25, and the square root of 36 is 6, and 27.5 is a lot closer to 5, is a lot closer to 25, so 5 would be the closest answer on that. So the closest whole number would be 5. 17 is a bed is seven and one fourth feet long, seven and one fourth feet long, and the material to make the sheet for the bed uh, is to be one and a fourth times as long as the bed. How long does it need to be? Well, if it's one and a fourth times this length, I need to take one and a fourth times seven and a fourth. To do this, switch these to improper fractions. Four times one is four plus one gives me Five fourths, so that's five fourths times this would be four times seven is twenty eight plus one more is twenty nine twenty nine fourths, and that gives me on the bottom here four times four well nothing reduces here, so four times four is sixteen, and on the top, just take twenty nine times five and that's forty five carrier four that's fourteen, so that's one hundred and 45 sixteenths and that's fine if you leave it like that or you can take the 16 into 145 and, and uh, write it as a mixed number but that's the uh, pre-algebra section and that will do it for the placement test